Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to keep an even keel. See what I did there? But moving on with the Hachette RMS Titanic, the ship, the legend. So we are now on issue 13, so let's take a quick look through the magazine. Up here we just have a little piece of paper telling us that you get replacement parts with this issue and for issue 1. We went through that time in the last episode, but here we go. In a lifeboat heading to safety, part 2, while people were struggling to survive on dinghies A and B, 5th Officer Harold Lowe refused to abandon those in the water. That's right. Oh, such such heroicness going on here. The photographs here. A contemporary photograph shows the survivors of Titanic on board Carpathia. I know words, I swear. Receiving dry clothing and blankets. And here we have one of the lifeboats that was recovered. This is actually kind of sad here. Not all Titanic's lifeboats were recovered after the survivors were transferred from them. Collapsible dinghy A, for example, was retrieved by members of the crew of the RMS Oceanic on the 13th of May, 1912. It was floating 200 miles from the scene of the sinking and had three lifeless bodies on board. That's unfortunate. Yeah. And the band on board Titanic Part 4. So again, more uh, more story here about the band. And, of course, the Musician's Memorial. Very nice. Very nice. And, of course, now we have our Instrucciones and all that good stuff. So there we have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it, because, as always, ain't nothing to it. But to do it, okay, so open this up, dump out the parts, um, that's all that is in the box, get out of my life, open this up, Ooh, there we go, more parts, we got a big, big chunk of die cast right here, that'll get it, I, I, I don't think we're actually using this part in this stage. Sorry. I have to. I'm sorry. Again, I have to. I just have to. I have to. But we have a baggie with other baggies. Got screws, and I don't think we're going to be using these screws either in this stage. And we have little miscellaneous parts and pieces and odds and ends and bits and bobs and whatnot. So we'll just dump everything out here. And there we go. And alrighty, so now we will open up our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones! <laughs> okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be uh, adding more details to the forward well deck. That is what we are doing, so let's bring in our forward well deck that we started prepping in the last episode. So what are we doing here? So first thing we are doing is we are plugging in, it looks like these four bits right here. What are these? Uh, are they literally called bits? They're called bits? That's what they're calling them. They're calling them bits. Okay, they call them bits, I'm going to call them bits. <laughs> okay, so apparently no glue is needed for these. So what are we doing here? What, what, what are we doing here? So these are going into these holes. Can you see what I'm doing? Here we go. So it's like these are going in each corner here. Like that. And one right here. Is one pipe bigger than the other? Oh, looks like they're the same size. Yeah, okay. That goes there. All right, goes there. See, that's making this kind of bubble up a little bit. Because this, this thing is not very precisely cut. I may have to end up gluing this down. I may have to end up putting some glue down on this, because that's not going to... You see, that's kind of starting to, like... It's not cut properly. Like, it's a it seems like it's a smidge too wide. And now that's making things bubble up. Hmm. I'll do something about that. I'll do something about that. I'm not gonna, they do recommend that you glue a couple parts down, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I think I'm gonna have to glue this deck down first before I glue anything else down. But just to show you where things go, then we'll, you know, I'll, 
I'll, uh, I'll get everything better situated on my own time. So we've done that. So now we move on to this here. So what are we doing here? So now it looks like we are doing uh, this piece right here, the large air vent, which is this little right piece right here. So the large air vent is just supposed to, I do recommend a dot of glue, but I'm not gonna glue this down right now. I'm gonna have to, actually that frictions in very well. So I don't think you actually need glue for this. There you go. And that just sits right there, like that. And then they want us, okay, so these are, these are parts that we have replacement parts for. Because these bits right here, they want us to use these. Now these are originally, as you can see, cast in white, and apparently that is incorrect, that is inaccurate. So here we have a bag with number 13, new colors. So here, we have the properly colored bits right here. What are these called? These are the two fair lead rollers. That's what they're called. See, I'm learning what things on this ship are called. I never knew these things. So little details I did not know about. So I am I am being educated as I am building this ship. That's a wonderful thing. See, so many benefits. Benefits abound when building this ship. You learn things also. All right, so how are these going? So again, I'm not going to glue anything down right now. Oh, see, so okay, so these are key to a specific way. You can kind of see there's a little tab there by the post. So he's only going one way. And luckily all these are just kind of friction in. But again, I'm going I'm to end up taking all these off because I'm going to glue this duck down because that's that good the way. It's kind of bubbling up. No way. Because this isn't cut properly. They didn't cut it properly. There you go. That's how you want that looking. Beautiful, wonderful, marvelous. Love it. Love it. So now, what are we doing? Um, so we've done that. Now we're over here. So now we have two winches. And the winches, again, the original parts, we got in white, but we are not using these. We are using these that are done in the gunmetal gray. So, these are going uh, thusly. So you do have one, one post is bigger than the other. So again, they made it so you know it only goes in one way. That just frictioned in. I mean, of course, yeah, a lot of this stuff just friction fits in. But again, if you want to use glue, you can totally use glue just to make sure none of this ever moves again. Totally up to you. As always, it's your model. Do what you see fit with it. There you go. Boom. Nice. Wonderful. Marvelous. Marvelous. So now what are we doing? We have... Now we have two smaller air vents. These little ones. Little baby ones. And your baby ones. Your baby. Your baby vents. And these are getting fitted into these tiny holes right here. And they should just friction on. You want know, a little with tiny pegs like this, you want to make sure you just apply just even pressure. Don't manhandle it because you can snap those tiny little pegs. So where is this one going? This one's going here. Like and just apply even pressure and just push down. There you go. Again, that's yeah. I have to. I gotta glue that down. I gotta glue this down. That's just. That's no good. That's no good at all. I'm gonna have to take all this off just to glue it down now. But it's okay. It's all right. I'll do that on my own time. But just to show you guys what we're doing in this stage, anyway. Any little adjustments I can do. All right. So we've done that, and um. So one more step to do here is to take. These bits here, what are these? These are two steps. They're just called steps. Two steps. Okay, they're called steps. And again, you can see we have one post that is bigger than the other. So, you know it only goes in one way. Not that it really matters because it's symmetrical. So it doesn't really matter which way it goes in what. But hey, they wanted to be really specific about it. So, okay. Cool. Cool. Do I have it the right way? 
There we go. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is a screwless episode, unfortunately. No screwing in this episode. It is a screwless, screwless episode. And this one is having trouble going in. I'll just post. Let me try this one. Maybe this post is a little too big. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Push that down. And one more. Push that down. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that. We got some nice new little details added to the deck. And uh, yeah, that is it. We're not using this yet. This we're just keeping in a safe place. These screws. We got screws, but we didn't get the screw, unfortunately. But uh, we just have to hold on to these for a later stage. So yeah, this is what we did. We added some details to the well deck. Again, I'm going to have to glue this deck down because it's like bubbling up because they, they cut this a little too wide. So yeah, that's no good. I'll have to take all this off and glue it down so it looks a lot better, but I'll do that on my own time. But this is what you end up with after this stage. Nicely done. Nice, 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 nice. And that is it. We are done with this stage of the build. There is our completed work. So there you go. And now, of course, as always, if you would like to sign up for your own Titanic kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure. And you can watch this lovely ship of dreams take shape before your very eyes. So... There you go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Pum in your face.